Hello everybody, welcome to the official replay cast of the final, it turns out, run round two match in Group O between Spinky and his Imperial Nobility and Gorgor Bay and his Dark Elves. As you can see we have the king of the Imperial Nobility here, look at this ogre, unbelievable, covered in spikes, a flaming helmet and crucially no bow, he has a shield. Wonderful stuff. A really great customized team here from from Spinky. Uh, you know, unfortunately, it's still Imperial Nobility, so he's you know he's going to struggle uh, up against Dark Elves here at Gorgo Bay. I can show you the table as it was. They actually both won the first game, Spinky because he was playing other knobs, and Gorgo Bay because it was Dark Elves versus knobs. <laughs> No, only joking, of course. Imperial Ability are completely capable of winning. Um, Go Go Bear is Canadian, qualified through the Goblin League, uh, World Championship Qualifier, and Spinky is Spanish and qualified through the Liga Super Blitz. There you go. And uh, yeah, I mean, Dark Elves, we've got four Blodge Blitzers, a Wrestle Witch. The Assassin. Oh, and we've got the three rerolls. This is the uh, Christopher Bengston build. I really like this. I really like this build. I, maybe I should have gone this build myself. I really like this build a lot. I think it might be the best Dark Elf build. Um, and we've gone similar to everybody else, obviously, with knobs. They're pretty much the same. We've got a leader thrower. Got a tackle on and dodge. I really prefer two dodges. Uh, four guard and yeah the block I think the block over is probably correct but only a skillless thrower here and a dirty player uh, which is reasonable isn't it actually reasonable yeah I think these are all perfectly cromulent choices I mean apart from picking imperial ability in the first place you know let's be honest <laughs> oh wow the Dells get an extra reroll don't like not putting a dodge player on the ogre just to dodge away, right? Protect. Trying to protect the bludger from a foul a little bit. Oh god, I forgot he had the horrible dice. <laughs> I mean, they look great. They're just hard to tell what's on them, aren't they? It's really hard to tell what's on them. Oh god. <laughs> little bit passive, little bit passive defense here. I'd quite like seeing this as elves. Honestly, I'm really regretting Dakaring now because maybe people wouldn't have defended as well. You could be my wingman any time. Bullshit. You could be mine. Oh, hello, Spinky. Thank you very much for the raid. Just doing this match. Um, don't take any offence. No spoilers, please. <laughs> I mean, the big spoiler is that you, you know, you made a, a fatal mistake in the race selection phase of uh, choosing Imperial Ability instead of, uh, I mean, nearly anything else. <laughs> Thank you. Br br brilliant Olga, though. 10 out of 10. 10 out of 10 Olga. He is fantastic. Love this Olga guy. Yep. The dice! <laughs> Maybe not. <laughs> I mean, the dice are funny. The dice are definitely funny. Am I going to foul this? It's just a lineman though, isn't it? Uh, or is it tackle? Is it is it tackle or is it dirty? I thought it was dirty player. Oh, this is tackle. No, this is dirty player. Yeah, this is the tackle. This is dirty player. Yeah, for sure. 
Dirty player's getting targeted as well. By Russell. Nobility did not win that last match. No, it was it was a draw. I I stand firm on my overall alliance opinions. I just think maybe I made a mistake by Dakari. I'm going to Dakar again in my third game, aren't I, versus all? <laughs> God. dies. <laughs> That's the tower. Don't like not being as aggressive with the ogre, honestly. The uh, In the knob off, the ogres were just constantly battling and uh, this ogre is just running around, showing off all of his spikes, but not using them. It's a removal though. Pick off the leader. <laughs> yeah. Oh, reroll the one nine because of just because of wrestle. Interesting. Bit tricky, isn't it? Just getting stuck in like a thing. The thing is, though, they are on a eight plus, aren't they? So, the dirty player is gone for no damage. Not for the drive, at least for now. Ooh, I thought the guard would have gone in there. It seemed such. Maybe the ogre's going to go in there. <laughs> Stun. Where does the ogre go? He does go in. Oh. I feel like I would have preferred one left, but I don't really know why. Not necessarily correct anyway. A blockless block. Like, there's a lot of dice in this offense, isn't there? This is the thing, like, you know, people criticize the DACA, but, like, there's a lot of dice being rolled in this offense. So... Gets the knockdown. Is that just not a block? I would definitely want to eat him just because he's rubbish. <laughs> just because he's armor 8 plus, right? Just smash him. Smash him to bits. Oh, do you know what? I feel like this was a mistake. This could have could have put somebody in here, right? And then blocked him. And then if you pow, you can hit the ball with the ogre. One, two, three, four, five, rush. It's not great, is it? Where's the tackle? Oh, the tackle's already blitzed. Never mind. Irata, irata. Irata, irata. But maybe that would have been the play anyway, that the tackle. I don't know where the blitz came. Yeah, Fen's pretty good for, like, you know, a, a war dancer. 
a good player that you don't want people to follow up against or like a zombie right even a zombie or, or a an av 11 plus zombie with block and fend with wrestle and fend would be all right but them them having it on like an armor eight plus guy is just basically irrelevant yeah. And like it does get people if they if they don't think about it, but if you do think about it, it's pretty easy to play around. Yeah. Here we go, turn six, and somehow there's loads of free elves. So this is a wonderful, wonderful turn for the. I don't know how so many were free, but they are. I don't know how that happened. Um, what what could have happened here is maybe not great, but he could have blocked him there. Then he could have blocked the ogre in there. Then the ogre could have blocked there, and then. Could have like maybe got in with uh, I mean with a power you'd have to full pow, but then maybe get in with like a garter and uh, run the tackle round. That's probably what I like. It's rubbish, isn't it? It's rubbish because so many things have to work right. But could have tried for it, right? Could have tried for the first hit and then could have tried this hit, and then if you see if you get the pow, and if you get the pow there, then you're in. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, rush, rush. Still, maybe he's not even good enough, right? Because they're elves and they'll just pick it up. <laughs> just somehow they got away. Man, seeing this, and honestly, I didn't even look at my opponent's setup. And if I'd looked at my opponent's setup, I would have seen that I had a free surf and I would have probably set up, but I was just so determined to attack it. Stupid. Well, that's not really enough, is it? It's going to be an easy, easy cage here. Don't even really need to hit this guy. Like it makes the rest of the formation weaker having to like you know, rely on the dodge to hit him. And the hit it could have just literally had pulls two out there. Oh yeah, Fend is pretty terrible on ability. I think the people who think it's good are wrong. Like, obviously it's better than not having it, but <laughs> everything's better than not having it, isn't it? Even running pass is just strictly better than not having running pass. But, like, it's just not good. It, it's, it's good if people play bad in the same way as, like, you know, Frenzy can be. Oh wow, well, it got a 1D on it anyway. Wait, well, didn't re-roll. Ooh. I mean, he's re-rolling for a 6. Well, maybe you have to at that point. Because, like, this is such an easy clear, isn't it? It's just literally... Stand 2D. <laughs> exactly, exactly, Dimmy. Exactly. Never, ever, ever would I just get two player surf for no reason. I wish I'd seen this game more than I'd practiced three times the game versus the OWA, because this looked. A really comfortable drive, 
versus a team that's really better on defence than all the Lions are. I've basically forgotten how to do a standard offence. <laughs> but uh, it's because I was so focused on like just not getting diced by them, right? Removing players. And I thought, if I dunk her, I'm less likely to take loads of removals. But so easy to push and pull the old alliance around. And as I say, I could have just started with a surf. Which would have been pretty good. It's annoying as well that my reason for Dark Elves was, that, you know, I thought it was hard for them to lose. Um, I haven't lost, but could still be going out. Yeah, but the the reason was being I, I mean I know I know the I know that Dark Elves are slower obviously, but the thing is the thing about the Dakar is I felt the only way I could lose is if I got banged out. Which turned out to be the truth, right? But I was obviously less likely to get banged out by Dakaring than if I'd played normally. Oh wow, caught the kick. Maybe not though, right? Because the, the the knobs were pretty passive. Like he could have just been passive. I don't know. The fact that I didn't look at his defensive self and he gave me a surf is, is unforgivable. Foul, nice foul here. Not yeah. mm. interesting. The L's going forward. I think I would just play passively here. Going very aggressive. Yeah. Kaz. Oh, yeah, I could bang people out as well, couldn't I, if I played properly? Oh, who knows? Has he got a rush to get in there? No, he can hand off. Oh, so I actually prefer like putting the bludger in, right? And then just handing off to him. Because yes, you can re-roll the rush, but you'd rather have it on the movement 7 bludger anyway, right? Than the movement 6 rubbish dude. So I feel like Putting him in the and then handing off is better than the rush, even though it is technically worse odds. Olga foul? No. Yeah. <laughs> Ring pass, please. Nope. Oh. Stab makes a cast. Lovely. Oh, 
Oh, goes to the sack. I'm not a big fan of going for the sack. Basically ever. <laughs> but I guess it was a five plus in on it for one day. Something could have happened, but... Feels like you're just gonna let, you're letting him like just punch you and then move up field. Oh, not going up field. Oh, gonna foul. Foul the ball carrier. Not fouling. With three assists, I just found. <laughs> like, he's still got a bribe, right? Out of, like, getting away from, from the blotcher there. Or fouling him. Like getting forward. It was a good spot to get forward there. It's hard to get forward versus Dallas. In general. Wow, no fear, just standing up in the face of the tackle. Gets full power by the other guy anyway. Oh, the ogre went stupid. Oh no. I'm just going to go back. Oh no. Now we're going to do the handoff. Yeah, I like doing the handoff early, I really like that. Especially if you can hand off later anyway. Because like elves can cage dive or make you do something, can't they? Now the elves are going mad for it, aren't they? They're all in. Instant fail. <laughs> For that, dub skulls. Maybe he could have moved those other three players, right? Didn't do safe moves for I mean, did some. I, they don't look like they're in what he thought were the absolute best squares, right? Maybe they were, but I feel like they could have been doing something more relevant than just standing unactivated. It's the removal. Oh, Apple. One D Pow, classic. AV break, flip me. The aggro defense is costing him now. But we do have a uh, weaker a weaker cage, so we could go for the four plus in. Doesn't know. I mean, if you're going to do the 5 plus 1D, why don't you do the 4 plus 1D, right? Or even, or even dodge in there and push him here because he had another player, right? He had a player here, so he could have actually dodged in there, uphilled him for a push, and then had 2D on the ball. That's not even that bad. We we had to have gone for the sack earlier, I think, and then not then. When it was just it was just clearly better, right? A one D. A four plus one D instead of a five plus one D. Turn fourteen really needs to get forward. Turn 14 panic. Oh dear, this looks... Uh... This looks... Horrendous. <laughs> this looks... Horrendous. Yeah, I had to get forward. Had to get forward now.
Okay, here we go. Ogre Blitz. Glorious. Oh, he looks so good. So he's going for a 4-3 with a carrier. Full potato. I mean, you've kind of got to, right? 1-0 down, there's no point not. Wait, was this guy? Was this guy? Be, is this guy been in the end zone or something? Where did he come from? Oh. Okay. Makes the rolls. I mean, pretty good rolls. And I'm gonna double rush to get a wrestle hit. Maybe, yeah, to make this to go, I don't know, I don't know. If to, oh, wow, rerolls on double powers. Doesn't have a player free, but he can just make all these dodges. And that's it, isn't it? Give him a player to chain, to be fair. <laughs> Nope, cast. And that's it. Well, there you go. Uh, go, go, bait gets the win as the only dark elf in the group of knobs. <laughs> um, Commiseration, Spinky. Congratulations, go, go, bait. And you can see. Oh, that's that was what it was like. I can actually show you what it looks like now. There we go. So Go Go Bear is... Is he guaranteed? Spink, yeah, yeah, because they're on one, yeah. So Go Go Bear is definitely qualified. Spinky's in a good spot, right? Because Andre's playing Go Go Bear. So... Realistically, Spinky probably just needs a draw versus Fez. Um, but if Fez can win, or if Andre can win, things can happen. So there you go. And actually, Spinky's touchdown four. Well, they're all. Their touchdown for all of them is just one. So. Actually, a draw is unlikely to be good enough, is it, for. Um, well, no, so. Wait, so Spinky. If he draws, he's above Fez. Well, no, if he draws, he's got more points. But if Fez beats Spinky, then he's got more points. So the only thing is, Fez and Andri, if Fez and Andri both win, and they've got exactly the same touchdowns, four and touchdown difference at the moment. Oh, wait, no, no, no. Spinky could draw, and then Andri could win. And if Andri wins, he's probably scored more touchdowns. And Spinky has in his draw. So. But then Andre has to beat Dark Elves. So. Whatever happens, Go Go Bears through. Congrats to him. And uh, there you go. Right, I'll do, I'll do a video like going over all the groups and the state of play for everybody. So. Yep, I'll get that out tomorrow. Um, but as it is, that's the, that's the round two over. So there you go. Thanks for watching, everybody. Don't forget to leave a like and subscribe. And stay fantastic.